Hello, hello, hello. So we are day 22 of Vlogmas. We are nearly there, marching on. <laughs> so if you've watched my previous video, you'll know that the last two days I put together as one video, day 20 and day 21, because I went to my sister's because my mum has come over from Spain and she's staying with my sister for Christmas. And then after, well, New Year's Eve, she's coming to my house and then staying with me for a little while. Um, so, but because she was coming over from Spain, I wanted to go over and see her first. So I spent a couple of days with my sister and we've had, we had a really, really lovely time. So I hope you enjoyed the little montage of everything. And I'm sorry I didn't kind of get on a lot to talk to you, but you know, I was busy. <laughs> So yeah, it was lovely. It was really, really good. I have to say the absolute highlight was the Nutcracker. Um, it was, it, I love, I do love a ballet um, and I love the music of the Nutcracker anyway. And um, yeah, it just, and it really kind of made me feel Christmassy. So you know what it's like sometimes with, when Christmas is all happening around you, you don't, don't, you forget to feel Christmassy. And yeah, so it really, really helped kind of start that kind of festive feeling so I'm back home and I'm in my sewing room now if you can see behind me I have got a overlocker there and it is not my overlocker it is a overlocker that's on loan to me from Carolyn at Carolyn Rose School of Sewing because I, uh, I don't know whether you may have watched my little mishap with my overlocker where I failed to tighten the screw when I took the left needle out and lost the screw um, and the sewing machine guy was going to bring me a new one but he wasn't quite sure which one I think he got a bit confused with my overlocker and the overlockers we used so he wasn't quite sure which one wanted so yeah so Carolyn said don't worry you can take Sam's overlocker with you and kind of sort that out and Sam can borrow one of ours so I have got one of the workshop overlockers which will be exciting so yes yeah, so hopefully now I'm back home I have got a couple of things I need to finish on my nail nail dress to make it wearable but I needed the overlocker so I am going to hopefully get that finished so I will be able to show you that on as soon as and then also I want to get my Christmas Freya top finished as well oh, so I'm kind of leaving it all a bit last minute but you know that is kind of how I roll so yeah so while I was away um in a big box in my sewing room when I came back was an order that I'd made from Pound Fabrics so the reason that I'd ordered some fabrics from Pound Fabrics is that one of the things that I want to do this year is experiment more with different types of fabric because I tend to stick very much with the same sort of fabric. Um, and I've noticed recently with trying out new patterns that um, you get very different results with different fabrics. Um, and it de really came into it when I tried this crepe fabric um, this crepe fabric is very different from the Wilder Gown crepe fabric that I used. And so, yeah, so it's not just a case of buying different types of fabric. It's seeing how different types of fabric behave in different patterns. So I have, uh, I've ha I kind of had a little look at my stash, what I've got, what I haven't got, what I was missing. I definitely, definitely needed more planes of fabric because I tend to have lots of brights, lots of patterns, lots of checks, lots of stripes, but I needed more planes or sparkly because sparkly is plain, um, <laughs> in my opinion. So yeah, so I kind of just got a bit of what I felt like I was lacking, um, yeah. And I got bargains. So again, because when you're experimenting with new fabrics and new patterns, I didn't want really expensive fabrics to do that with. So I'll show you what I have bought. So the first thing I've bought is this kind of linen look fabric, but it is actually a blend. Um, 
it's actually a really it's a really really lovely weight fabric it's like an olive green um yeah and it's kind of yeah just a really nice weight and i was hoping that i would either do a dress or me and now i've actually got it in my hand and i'm looking at it because i was thinking of it for a dress but now i've got it in my hand i think it's probably more likely to be trousers um but yeah so i bought that all of these fabrics are from pound fabrics and if they've still got them in stock i will pop them in the description blo blocks the description blocks the description box below so yeah so that's that one and i definitely i definitely needed more kind of plain type fabrics and so <laughs> i've got exactly the same fabric but this time in black and again you can i don't know whether you can see the kind of linen look to it um and this uh, is definitely for trousers because i found that i've been making a lot of tops um and my me made wardrobe is made up a lot of tops shirts blouses that kind of thing not so many trousers and because all of my tops are very colorful and patterned i thought what i actually need is a really nice pair of black trousers but i have actually bought three meters of this and i i tend to need about a meter and a half for a pair of trousers for me um so or or a little bit more than a, a meter and a half is is normally plenty so i might make myself um a little black either skirt or maybe even shift dress um because you always need a little black dress don't you so or i might just make myself two pairs of trousers so so that's the the thinking behind that but i have no idea on patterns or anything for those um i just knew that i wanted to try out a different type of fabric and then the next one now this one is a bit of a punt <laughs> i saw this online and i just kind of fell in love with it and i don't really know why now i have for as long as i've been dressmaking my wish is i would really really like to make a coat but if i'm totally honest i'm a little bit scared of making jackets and coats um but i would really like to make one so i bought this fabric can you see it's like this lovely tweed with this gorgeous kind of teal on this kind of oatmeal color and if you look really closely the camera's not really picking it up but there's definitely a shimmer to it and yeah and i think i want to make myself a coat out of this um coat or jacket or something similar um i've bought myself i want to say two meters but i may have got three meters um yeah so it's fancy isn't it i think it's really really beautiful so that is definitely something that i want to kind of plan in for for next year and then <laughs> i'm blaming these totally on christine from the gemini stitcher because um, when I joined a sewing social last week, she was wearing one of the, she was wearing um, this fabric, different colour, but she was wearing this stretch velvet fabric from Pound Fabrics um, in a Friday Pattern Company top. Can't remember what it's called now. Adrienne? something like that and I thought oh my goodness that is so lovely and it's so Christmassy and it's so beautiful I need to get myself some of that and then once once I'd ordered this um my friend Dee who is sewing Cinderella at another sewing social that I joined in the virtual sew sewing social um she made the Porsche dress and I know lots of people are making that at the moment um, but she made uh, the Porsche dress and I was thinking because I'd I kind of thought that that perhaps wasn't for me um, and then I saw it on her and thought oh actually yeah 
I reckon I could probably I could reckon I could probably do that. So yeah, I bought this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous blue velvet and um I bought three meters so I reckon I could get a top and possibly a dress out of that but I've also bought the green so I might do top dress or dress top I don't know but yeah I just absolutely love I, I love them I just love them I just think they're absolutely gorgeous um yeah so so that's exciting so I've got the green and I've got the blue in that lovely stretch velvet and it feels I mean it was quite inexpensive it wasn't an ex it wasn't an expensive fabric at all and it feels really nice quality actually so I'm very excited about that and then this one was a complete kind of saw it put it in my basket, worried about it afterwards. Um, and because there was a minimum, I think I've got four metres of this. Um, and as you can see, it's all it's almost matching what I'm wearing. So it's this lovely, shimmery, shiny, stretch jersey, because, you know, you ju I just have to, don't I? I have no idea what I'm going to make with this. No idea at all. I just thought, do you know what? That is absolutely stunning. A little bit of me. And I need to get myself some of that. Um, it was £2 or £3 a metre, something like that. So, yeah. And it's not the thickest fabric ever. But I tend to wear, if I'm wearing something like this, I'll tend to wear something underneath anyway. So, yeah. Next year's party frock, I reckon. So, yeah, I bought that. Yeah, I really treated myself from Pound Fabrics this year. I just, I just thought, do you know what? I really fancy it. So, I've got my invoice here so I can tell you exactly. So, the glitter look lurex jersey i have got four meters off and it was two pounds a meter so i got four meters for eight quid which can't go wrong can you and then the linen look um olive green and black um that is suiting fabric um and i got three meters of those and then yeah i did get three meters of the teal and oatmeal tweed and I got three metres of the velvet as well. I got three metres of the green and I forest, it's called forest, and the three metres of the navy. And then this one, um, I wasn't 100% sure about this one. When I saw this one, I first thought about coach opportunities. I've only got two metres of it. This one was a whole five pounds a metre. So this was, you know, in pound fabrics term it was quite expensive <laughs> um i first of all thought of coat but then i have made um the french dart by marvin patterns dress and i think that that will look really nice in this kind of wool tweed um, but equally, I think this would look really nice as a pinafore dress um, for the winter months. Um, yeah, and I just thought it was really, really nice. And it's really soft and really cosy. I know it's not plain, because I know I said I need planes. But it's equally not in-your-face patterned either. It is quite neutral. So, yeah. So, that was my fabric haul from Pound Fabrics. Um, so that came while I was away. So tomorrow I will um, get busy with getting those washed and dried and put on Stash Hub and then I can put find a space and put those away um, yeah, and get busy with those. So today my daughter is a teacher and she's finished. She's finishing today. So she'll be here after lunchtime. And we're going to sit and have a little bit of time together. 
I also want to go and do a little bit of last minute shopping. Nothing, nothing exciting. Just a few bits that I didn't, I kind of missed off of my shopping list. Do you know what it's like? You think you've made lists for everything, but you always forget something. Um, so I quite like to pop out and do that. And then I'd like to get some sewing done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try by the end of the day to get my nail dress finished. So if I can get that done by the end of today, I think I'll be doing really well. So I've rattled on for a while, <laughs> but I'll speak to you soon. So it is finished and I've got it on and I absolutely love it. Now I have taken a quick photo, but the light at the moment is has gone. All of our, the natural light is gone. So it's probably not the best picture in the world, but I'll pop that up there and then I'll take some better pictures tomorrow and I'll pop them on my Instagram. So if you are interested in seeing what it looks like, and I'll definitely be taking some pictures when I'm wearing it over Christmas, but I absolutely love it. So it is the nail dress by Dressmakers Closet, lovely Jane. Um, I haven't made any adjustments um, at all. I've just done a straight size 12. Next time on the dress version, and I'm pretty sure I figured this out last time, I might make the bodice a little bit longer. I have actually got quite a long torso and I should have thought of that. But um, but because this crepe is a little bit, got a little bit of a stretch to it, it doesn't really matter. But I think if I made it, uh, yeah, I might need, I might need a little bit longer in the torso. But yeah, absolutely lovely. So comfy, like secret pyjamas. Um, and it's, yeah, it definitely feels like a, you know, a nice kind of Christmas dress option. <sighs> now, um, while I've got these two overlockers here, I think um, just after Christmas, I might do a video after Christmas comparing the two overlockers, because as I was using it, I've definitely, definitely found massive differences. And I've had to re-thread the overlocker from the workshop twice by doing the cuffs. I think my brother overlocker is a much tougher machine. This one, which is the Janome 6234XL, um, does a really good job on the precision sewing, um, but actually getting through the layers, I think my brother Lock 3034DWT, um, yeah, probably does a better job. Yeah, I had to rethread that twice because it did not like the going through all of those layers of gathering and cuffs. So that was quite interesting. So I might do a longer vlog on that to save keep you keeping you here on Friday. So yeah, so I'm really glad I finished that now. That's kind of, yeah, made me feel a bit more comfortable. That at least I've got something to wear over Christmas that I've finished. So I'm going to go downstairs now and spend some time with my daughter and then if I get a bit of time later I will do my Freya top. But I'm going to sign off and say see you later, see you tomorrow, don't forget to sparkle and um, tomorrow is Saturday. Oh I almost forgot. So tomorrow I'm going to do a little sew along for a last minute gift. So if you are absolutely on full out panic mode and think, ah, I have not got a gift. I have got a really, really nice idea for a gift that you can use with what you've got hanging around in your craft room, your sewing room. It's a really good scrap, scrap buster and it takes less than 20 minutes to make. So yeah, see you tomorrow. Don't forget to sparkle. Bye for now.